Hello everyone, how to solve this problem for the values of x and y if we have x square minus y square equals to 9 and we solve this problem for the values of x and y but here you remember one thing is that our x and y should must be belongs to the natural numbers okay it means that we just solve this problem for the natural values of x and y so uh, here uh, the very first thing we are going to do is first we need to focus into the left hand side and you see here this is a very famous uh, algebraic formula and we know that x square minus y square is equals to x minus y times of x plus y is equals to 9 and now you see in the left hand side uh, our left hand side with the product of two factors but in the right hand side we have only one factor so now here first we need to uh, find uh, the pair of natural numbers whose product becomes 9 so the possibilities uh, in which the product of two numbers is 9 are 3 multiplied by 3 becomes 9 1 multiplied by 9 becomes 9 and 9 multiplied by 1 is also equals to 9 so we have these are the three possibilities in which the product of two numbers becomes here 9 uh, so here uh, now we need to make the pair make the relation between these two factors and we know about that our first factor is always less than or equals to the second factor so it means that we will choose those pair of natural numbers uh, in which our first factor is equals to second factor or the first factor is less than the second factor so you see here um, the first factor is uh, less than or equals to second factor so we choose this one then if you see here one is less than nine we also choose this pair but if you see here 9 is greater than 1 so we cannot choose these pairs okay because this cannot be satisfied over this given condition so now here we have these are the two cases and now we convert our uh, given question into these two cases uh, to find the values of x and y and now we move towards our first case and in the first case uh, we compare these two values with these two numbers and it will become here x minus y equals to 3 and x plus y is also equals to 3 and we call this is equation number 1 and this is our equation number 2 so here we need to solve these two equations simultaneously and we get the values of x and y so now here uh, in the very first step we are going to do is here first we need to sum up equation number 1 and equation number 2 and you see here this is x plus x uh, becomes here 2x this is minus y and this is plus y are cancelled out by each other and we get here this is 3 plus 3 becomes 6 so here for the values of x we need to divide both of the sides by 2 so when we divide both of the sides by 2 it will be written as in this form this 2 is cancelled out by this 2 and we will get here our x is equals to these are also cancelled out by each other and we get here 2 times 3 becomes 6 so we will obtain here the value of x is equals to 3 so uh, this is the value of x and you see here our x uh, should must be belongs to the natural number okay and so this is the natural value of x and now here we need to find a corresponding value of y so for this we need to uh, copy down equation number 2 here uh, so equation number 2 is implies that x plus y is equals to 3 and here we substitute this value of x and we get the corresponding value of y so when you put this value here it will become 3 plus y is equals to 3 and this implies that here we move this 3 to the right hand side and it will become y is equals to 3 minus 3 and we will get here y is equals to 0 so you see here uh, in this case we have the value of y is equals to 0 but y is equals to 0 is not a natural number we know that 0 is not a natural number uh, so if 0 is not natural number this means that y is not belongs to n but we need to uh, solve this problem for both of these two values of x and y is natural number but y is not natural in this case so that we uh, rejected this case because both of the x and y are not natural number and now here we move, we move towards our second case and in second case uh, we just compare uh, these two factors with 1 and 9 so here uh, we make the uh, in case second r x minus y is equals to 1 
and x plus y is equals to 9 so we call this is equation number 3 and this is equation number 4 so we have these are the two equations so further uh, in the next step uh, here we need to find the values of x and y so for this we again sum up equation number 3 and equation number 4 so when you add these two values you see here this x plus x becomes 2x and this negative y and positive y are cancelled out by each other and we get here 1 plus 9 becomes 10. So for the values of x we need to divide both of the sides by 2 so when we divide by 2 this will be written as in this form so this 2 is cancelled out by this 2 and we will get here our x is equals to this is 2 times of 5 becomes 10 when we get the value of x is equals to 5. So this is the value of x uh, which we uh, get here in second case but now here uh, for corresponding value of x we need to find the value of y. So for the value of y uh, we need to copy down equation number 4 here so that our equation number 4 is implies that this is x plus y is equals to 9 then we substitute this value of x here and it will becomes 5 plus y is equals to 9. So this implies that we move this 5 to the right hand side and we will get here y is equals to 9 minus 5. And here we easily get the value of y is equals to 9 minus 5 becomes here 4. So you see that. Uh, this is the value of x and this is the value of y and you clearly see here both of these two values are natural numbers. So if both of these two values are natural numbers, uh, uh, so this, is, this means that these are the two final values of x and y in this case. So this is our final answer and thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.